Hi, I'm Tom T Physics, and I'm about to make a film for you called Incredible Uses for Apples. But first, I'd like to tell you a bit about how I work. Because you see, videos are made of frames, and frames are made of pixels. And each pixel is a binary code made of ones and zeros, telling it which colour to be. The sound that goes with a video is also coded by ones and zeros, and these tell your speakers how to recreate the changes in air pressure of the original sounds and music. Now, my film's going to require about 4 billion ones and zeros, and because I like to do things old school, I'm going to write them all out by hand. This screen here shows me what the finished film's going to look like. So without further ado... Wait. Ado. That could be a Star Wars planet, couldn't it? Yeah. Sorry, I got slightly off topic there. Right, so obviously we use apples in our everyday lives as door wedges, guitar picks, uh, pencil pots, napkin rings, jack-o'-lanterns, salt and pepper shakers, a place for your morning papers, car frost scrapers, bathroom plugs, coasters for mugs, paper clips. But you're probably less aware of the uses of apples to science. Now I wish people gave these fruity friends more credit. Yeah, well I wish I could go sailing. So clearly wishing isn't enough. Get on with it. Um, sorry, this is... Don't touch me. Sorry, uh, this is my conscience. Hello. He or she, I don't want to be sexist, offers words of encouragement to me in difficult times. Um, back to the scientific uses of apples. Imagine a pendulum swinging back and forth at the North Pole. Now as the Earth makes a full rotation every 24 hours beneath it, the pendulum itself appears to be rotating in the opposite direction. And you can demonstrate this with an apple. As you can see, the whole pendulum is rotating very slowly, clockwise. And you don't have to live in the North Pole to demonstrate this effect, because apples are available in most parts of the world. Oh, so, sorry, I forgot to introduce you. Um, this is Presenter One. Um, he's the character I'm animating for this film. He may look realistic, but he's actually entirely CGI. Oh, and by the way, I'm also doing his voiceover. Your fans may have guessed that. Right, any more lip from you, and you're out. Now, geophysicists believe that an apple is a very good scale model for our planet, with the skin representing the crust, the flesh, as it were, representing the mantle, and the core representing the, uh, well, the core. Uh, maybe that's where the word comes from. Etymology was never my forte. Alright, this is a banger, so if you drop a dice, uh, yeah, it falls due to gravity, but if you drop it on top of an apple, it gets a boost as the apple rebounds, allowing it to reach a greater height. Now, the reason an apple corer works is the blade has a small surface area which gives a large pressure so it can easily slice through. Now, most people don't eat the core, perhaps out of respect for the apple's offspring. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> You're funny, Thomas. Excuse me, I take comedy very seriously. Yeah, that's a problem. <sighs> Just abuse. Do you like to slice your apples? I do, so that they can be made into a self-supporting miniaturised arch. Here, presenter one is threading the slices onto a piece of string, bending it into an arch, putting buttresses in place, and pulling the string out. And look, it can even support an apple. Briefly. You see, only briefly. Only briefly. And it's frustrating. That's how all creation works. It's full of frustrations and complications, constantly laughing at us for not understanding it, full of equations that we'll never scratch the surface of. And sometimes, why don't we just ask ourselves, what's the point of even trying? Why bother? And I don't believe it, I'm getting repetitive strain injury. Yeah, because out of all the health problems you <sighs> could have contracted, that was definitely the least <clears throat> likely. Wait, Dr. Physics? Hello? You okay? Uh, hello? You alright? You wanna finish the film? No. You're gone. You're gone. Don't worry. I'll finish the film for you. Creation is full of joy and 
Much of that joy is disguised in the simplest things. We rarely notice it, but when we do, it makes up for the times that we don't, and more, much more. <laughs>